Good morning. Joining me here on the chancel is someone that hopefully you already know, Tiffany Wright, who's our Minister for Care Ministries, and we want to talk to you today uh, about a wonderful new initiative that is uh, engaging our congregation through the churchwide social ministry team. Did I say that right? Yes. And Tiffany uh, works with this team of lay folks who have come up with a really fascinating idea that we're calling Wilshire Neighborhood Tables. But we didn't think of this on our own. Uh, we're Wilshireizing it, as we say. Uh, Tiffany, tell us, what is the origin of this idea? Okay, so the origin of this idea is a woman in Austin, and she lived in her neighborhood for a while and really felt kind of called by God to do something more, to get to know her neighbors and to just be a light in her community. So she was having a barbecue for some friends, and she ordered a picnic table, put it in the backyard, and she knew that very day that the next day she was going to put it in the front yard and just painted her favorite color, turquoise, and sit there and be available when people were walking their dogs and make it kind of be a neighborhood gathering spot. And it worked. It ended up being a place where people would come by and have a cup of coffee. Neighbors would just sit. Children would have lemonade stands and sell Girl Scout cookies. And it became a way just to really open up the possibilities of being real and being community with those people that live the closest to us. So we talk a lot about uh, fellowship within the church. This is sort of taking that fellowship idea and extending it beyond ourselves here in the church. Uh, some people are going to be real comfortable with that. Some it's going to scare them to death, right? right. Uh, what kind of response are you getting from this, and what are people saying when they sign up? Well, we have 15 people that have signed up so far, and those are fifth, all of these people are very extroverted. Um, there's a couple, though, that are not, that said, you know, I'm a little bit shyer, and if I have this table in my front yard, it's going to be a talking point. So really all different ages. I've been very um, pleasantly surprised by the people who have decided to do this. Another cool thing was when I heard about it, I thought it was a neat concept. But then I visited, when I was traveling, speaking for Stephen Ministry, I visited a church in Houston, very similar to ours, and they were doing it. That's really where I stole the idea. And they said it was just a wonderful way, you know, for their church to not only be um, in the community meeting people, but they kind of became known as, oh yeah, you go to that church that has those turquoise tables. And so it also allows us as a church to just be known for something that is, you know, spreading the love of Christ in our neighborhoods, being the hands and feet of just wanting to love people that live the closest to us. So some churches put out signs in the front yards for the members, we're going to put out tape picnic tables, right? So yeah. how does this work? What if, if we want to participate, what are yeah. the ways we could participate? Okay. So if you want to participate, I have a clipboard, and you can come up. I'll be at the front at the end of the service, and you can just sign up for a table. Probably in the next couple of weeks, we're going to have, um, whoever's interested, we're going to have the tables delivered up to the church. We're going to paint them in the church parking lot, and then we'll deliver it to your front yard. Um, the church that did this in Houston, they asked people to take it for a while, and then sometimes after about a year, they said, okay, I want to have a, let another person have this table, so the table might, you know, move around. Um, but also, some people have said to me, well, I live in an HOA, and I can't put furniture in my front yard. So there's a lovely book called The Art of Neighboring, and if you decide to get a table, the book comes with the table, and if you just want to learn how to be a better neighbor, how to better love people that live in your community, we also have The Art of Neighboring for sale in the church office for $11. So you can also pick it up and just read the book with us, and we'll talk about, you know, um, as we start this, we're going to ask people to do something once a month in their neighborhood. And it can be as simple as, you know, inviting people over for a lemonade and cookies. And then we're going to ask people to take pictures and put it on the Wilshire website with a hashtag just so we can see and share stories. And there'll be opportunities for that as well as we go along just to get together and to share how it's made a difference in your life and in your neighborhood. Okay, so what if you really like to paint? Could we use you? Yes, we could use you. I actually have one person who's in this room, I will not call her out, who said, okay, I can't take a table, but I love to paint. And so you're absolutely welcome to come. It's a great opportunity for teenagers if they need to get some of those um, hours at school. We'll have a painting party. We'll let you know when it is. Okay, one last question. Yes. This is a wonderful thing. It sounds so exciting, but why? Why are we doing this? Well, one of the things that, we're, we, that was just said by Michelle a minute ago is we are a church that is striving to build a community of faith shaped by the Spirit of Christ. Notice that word, build community. This is just another opportunity for us to build community. Um, 
within the church as well as with our neighbors. I know that um, Mark has a neighbor who couldn't take a table and has already said, okay, when the Wingfields do something at their table, table we're going to come down the street and we're going to be a part of it. So it's just another opportunity for us to just love people. Simple as that. All right. Thanks so much to all of the Churchwide Ministry Social Team for taking this on. And thanks to everyone who's going to participate. Hope to join us in reaching out to our neighborhoods. Thanks.